Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Theo Lake, Cap Rock Canyon State Park. About 75 miles from Amarillo. About 100 by car. Absolutely gorgeous park. I came by here last year, didn't even know about it. Hey Judy, good morning. Roll my intro. There it is, guys. Cap Rock Canyon State Park. Awesome Ranger Center. Watch for Bison Crossing Roadway. The bison roam free here. There's a herd of about 150. Varied landscape, and it has changed over time. Over 12,000 years ago, woolly mammoths. Woolly mammoths and giant bison, as well as camels and horses, roam the region. In the 1950s, black bears and gray wolves were run off the area by ranchers. Now mule deer and white-tailed deer, coyotes, bobcats, uh, pronghorn antelope, or some of the uh, species that are still here. The Texas State Bison Herd is here. The bison are descendants of the original herd that Charles Goodnight gave to his wife. Wow. Gray fox, raccoon, jackrabbits, prairie dogs, a large amount of reptiles, 14 species of lizards, 30 species of snakes, including prairie rattlesnakes, 175 species of birds, including roadrunners, red-tailed hawks, and the rarely seen golden eagle. Back there at Lake Theo, that was created by the damming of Holmes Creek. And that's where uh, most of the residents get their water. There's some prairie dogs, guys. It might be the first time that I have seen prairie dogs in the wild. And they are cute and destructive. There's one part of the road here where they have burrowed their tunnels right up through the blacktop. Very neat, guys. Uh, some of the signage I've read here. People have been coming here for 10,000 awesome. years. I think I'm bringing home a prairie the giant dog. bison. They have done archaeological digs and found evidence of tools from then. Bones of the giant bison. Uh, the Apache dominated this region until the Comanche pushed them out in the 1700s. Uh, yeah, this was a big battlefield area when we were up at uh, Palo Duro uh, last year. We read about the battles there that went through here and we were uh, down in Lockhart at the Battle of Plum Creek and all related, all the same tribes, all the cavalry, all the Texas Rangers. Uh, Spanish explorers have come through here. Uh, it's just been a beacon. This is a self-contained area and it has everything. That's why it was so highly con contested for so long. Uh, trades were made here between uh, the buffalo hunters and the various tribes of the region. Uh, Cattleman Charles Goodnight. We uh, read about him up at Palo Doro. 
how large his ranch was and how he had basically invented the chuck wagon. Uh, the buffalo, I'm sorry, the bison in this area were hunted to extinction. And uh, good night purchased for his wife, Mary Ann, a herd of bison. Started the herd with uh, two calves and got it up to about 250 by 1929. The herd declined after uh, the good nights passed away. And the Texas Parks and Wildlife took it over and has built it back up to about 150 right now. Very neat. And they have cattle guards throughout the park. And they have uh, fencing, heavy-duty fencing to try to keep the bison out of various areas, including the camping areas. And uh, the bison have figured out what trails to go down. This is my site, uh, 66. And I have a windmill at my site. But what I don't like is it has heavy fencing here that you have to open and close when you leave to keep you away from the bison. And I want to be where the bison are. Uh, they say to keep away 50 yards, and I intend to do that. I have kind of driven the entire drivable part of the park and I have not seen a bison. Now this place is huge with canyons and everything else, places for them to go. There is also a 62 mile former railroad uh, track that is now a trail here. It is not ADA accessible, so I will not be able to go there. But there is a abandoned train tunnel there that during the summer months is inhabited by uh, ringtail bats uh, from Mexico. And to see them come out at dusk is amazing. I have seen it at a larger colony, uh, Congress Avenue Bridge in Austin, which I believe is 1.5 million bats. And it is insane and awe-inspiring. There's also uh, another state park, or is it Old Tunnel Park in Texas, that has a similar ringtail bats from Mexico come out at dusk. And uh, yeah, if you like trains and have like an e-bike, this might be the place for you. I don't want to mention any names, but I feel a lot of you people might enjoy it. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the drive. You're up and down a lot of canyons here. And uh, yeah, the, if you need Wi-Fi or a uh, cell signal, I've, I got a strong signal anywhere on top of the canyon. And they have uh, Wi-Fi at the ranger station. You could park in the parking lot up there and get a Wi-Fi signal. More prairie dogs. These might uh, be on my top 10 list. These things have fooled me several times from a distance. Little cutouts. Once it gets dark, I'm probably going to be running. Hey guys, I am very excited. I have been sitting here by the ranger station at Cap Rock Canyon in hopes of seeing a buffalo. And here comes one now. And I hope I don't make him mad and he has a fight with my car. And that's one, guys. I parked here to use the Wi-Fi to edit and hoping I could spot them either at the lake or the prairie on my left. And fortunately... This guy walked by. This is my first wild bison. Maybe he's going to the herd. I am 50 yards back. I got the camera zoomed in. They say to give him 50 yards. And uh, really interesting. Now, we did hand feed bison at the drive through safari. Big ones. But what I'm concerned about, there's a lot of calves, supposedly, this time of year. 
He's checking to see how fresh that is. You can see there's bison poop everywhere, so they're around. But we have just one. A female bison weighs about a thousand pounds. A male bison weighs about two thousand pounds. Sun's going down, guys. I am not sleeping at my camp tonight. I am going to go to a parking lot where there is a lot of bison poop, and I'm going to try to spot them. My whole theory is based on uh, Dances with Wolves with Kevin Costner. Remember how he was asleep and the bison came while he was asleep? And this is not a bad spot to go to sleep, guys. My uh, spot's okay, but no bison are going to get in there. I didn't see any bison scat around. There was no prints. In this area, there's trails worn, and you can see the bison hooves. And I thought they would be down to the lake a lot more often to get water. But there are little streams and creeks running through. So there's the herd at night, guys. I was asleep in my truck, and I kept hearing noise. And it sounded like the pipes at the restroom about 100 yards away were going crazy. And it turns out the noise, I kept hearing it while I was half asleep. It was the mothers calling for the calves. Now it is pitch dark here. It's about 5 a.m. ballpark, two hours before sunrise. And I literally woke up in the middle of a bison herd. I woke up, opened my uh, car door, sleeping in the front of the truck, looked down for rattlesnakes, got to the back of the truck to get a water out of the cooler, and I cut, my eyes started to focus, and they were all around me. Uh, I, I got into, into the truck, shut the door, and when the light went out, there was one about eight feet to my left. <laughs> so thank you, Bison, for taking pity on me. Now the sun has come up, and see, there goes, there goes some calves. I followed the herd this whole time but it was just nighttime grainy footage and i'll stay back 50 yards but then they'll circle back or another part of the herd will come up behind me and i'm thinking right now there's about 75 80 different bison in the area oh a horrible joke what do you call it when one buffalo lends another buffalo money that's a buffalo <laughs> don't leave it's not that bad <laughs> I did want to tell you guys another experience I had and this is it I stopped following the herd I went back to sleep for about an hour and I uh, woke up got coffee sitting on my tailgate and several buffalo came that close to me while I was sitting on my tailgate right here. And it was a very unique experience. I, the first ones that came by, I did not dare move to film them. And when I thought they were all done, I was going to film them past me. And then that last one came through. Uh, it will wake you up in the morning. You can see they are thick. They are awesome. Caprock Canyon is now my new favorite state park. You do have to be on your toes going to the bathroom at night because they do roam freely and you don't want to frighten them with their uh, babies. I appreciate you guys. This is my office view for the day. I want to give a big thank you to Judy. Judy sent me money through my PayPal account. Uh, my links are in the description of this video. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.